I'm cycling along some cycling infrastructure just now. It might not look it to you, it might look like a car park, but this is part of National Cycle Route 1, so it's not nothing. And it's fine, the cars sometimes back onto the pavement, as you can see here, big lorries, big caravans, and it's a shared use path with pedestrians, so you've got to be careful. The challenge, of course, is that I'm about to be dumped out of it onto the road here. Oh, and by the way, please say hello to Electric Bike Scotland, who do phenomenal work. Really good people in there. Um, and so here I am among traffic. I'm admittedly still in a car park, but about to turn left and join a road for a short period. And so Simon asked the question, how do you convince nervous cyclists to cycle with traffic? The first thing I will say is that that nervousness is well founded and you shouldn't be ashamed of it. That's not because I think the cyclists are inherently at risk or that drivers are inherently dangerous. But your fear, if you have it, of cycling alongside traffic is what keeps you safe. Fear always keeps us safe. And so, I will say that find routes that are as quiet or car free as possible. I will say, take your time, especially if you haven't been on a bike for a long time. Get used to the bike, get the feel of the bike, get the muscle extension of the bike right so that you're not thinking about riding the bike, you're just thinking about keeping yourself safe. And then lastly, work up to it, right? Nobody's asking you to immediately jump in, into Lycra and get into a moving three-lane road with heavy goods vehicles thundering past. Work up to it. Push yourself a tiny bit each time, but only the tiniest of bits. Don't feel you've got to push yourself hard. And you'll find that quicker than you think, I suspect, you'll get comfortable on the bike. And the fear you once had of cycling alongside traffic, where you can't avoid it, won't feel as bad as it did when you first contemplated it. Take your time, go easy on yourself.